You've probably heard the term bomb cyclone a lot this week, but what exactly is bomb cyclone? And I'll give you a hint. It's probably not exactly what you think it is. First of all, let's start with the very basics. When we've got an area of low pressure, like the one that's impacting Colorado today, it has to form sometime somewhere, duh, right? And often we've got cyclogenesis or the, the development or the birth of a storm often takes place here across eastern Colorado. That's where we've got the moisture that meets from the Gulf as well as from the Pacific. And you've got different air masses that collide and often reform here in Colorado. So usually we've got cyclogenesis. What's not as common is what we're seeing right now is bombogenesis, which is an extremely strong storm or rapidly developing storm. So cyclogenesis basically on a an, on extreme level that is what a bomb cyclone or bombogenesis is and there is an official metric or terminology behind that so first of all a fast developing area of low pressure that's what a bomb cyclone is so it does not necessarily mean a bunch of snow it usually does mean a bunch of wind but it doesn't necessarily mean that either what it means is a 24 millibar drop in 24 hours. So what that means is a rapidly developing area of low pressure. The lower the pressure, the stronger the storm. So if you have a big drop in central pressure, you've got a much stronger storm. And it's fairly uncommon for us to see it in the central plains. Of course, six years ago, we had that with the bomb cyclone, the aforementioned bomb cyclone, the one that brought us a ton of snow in the mountains and a bunch of wind. Today's storm will most likely end up qualifying as a bomb cyclone as well, but that storm much faster moving and much further north than the one we had a few years ago, hence the different impacts compared to the one back in 2019.